I've used my career to challenge people's notions of who LGBTQ people are. When a young person comes up to me on the street, or, or a person in their 30s now, comes up to me on the street and says, you helped me change the way I look at the world, or gay people, or myself. To me, that is everything. And it's the thing I'm the most proud of. As an artist and as an activist, in these times, which I call revolutionary times, I can use what I do, both in my art and in my activism, to help illuminate the experiences of the LGBTQ people. That means that when I'm working as an actor that I am mindful of how this project or this piece will affect LGBTQ people. I choose projects that I feel speak to what our experiences are, and that started from a very early age. You know, at 19 I played the first openly gay teenager on network television. Being an openly gay actor at the time helped set up what would end up being a career in which I used my art as activism. With 13 Reasons Why, a lot of these characters are either LGBTQ or played by LGBTQ people. So we're mindful of the experiences that young people are having, and we want the show to be able to depict that and give them some release and some acknowledgement and also permission to talk about what their experiences are. With Star Trek Discovery, I think it's about giving people permission to see beyond their experience and what the world could be like if we actually valued each other for who we are and what we are. When I think about pride, I think about protest. I think about rising up in the face of true ignorance, a devastating plague, inequality in every level of our culture. That's what pride was about. It was about going out into the streets and fighting for our lives. It's become a celebration of how much we've been able to achieve, and I think that's valuable as well. We have to remember that pride was a way of fighting for ourselves, for our communities, for our allies. I hope that we can continue to celebrate, be celebratory, and enjoy the successes that we've experienced, but I hope that all of that is based on the foundation that we're still fighting for our lives.